Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could strum through an old song called Drift Away. And it's got a really cool intro lick, and it kind of starts on the open B string. And then we're going to play third fret on the B string. And then open E. And then back to third fret on the B. And then open B. And then we're going to take second fret on the G string. And then open G. And then we're going to do second or open D string, but do a hammer on the second fret. So we're going to kind of play the open D and then kind of put a finger down to get the sound to carry the second fret. And then open G and another open G. So all together you got open B, third fret on the B, open E, third fret on the B, open B, two on the G, open G, open two hammer on the D, open G, open G. intro the tune. Now if you're feeling a little bit more adventurous, there's some basses that you could add to that, where if you go third fret on the low E string, you could kind of play that with the pick, and then I'm, I'm going to do this hybrid pick and kind of doing pick with the thumb and the index finger and middle finger for, for my, my other notes. So you can play low E on the third fret, um, at the same time you play open B, and then play second fret on the A at the same time you play the third fret on the B, and then play third fret on the A string when you play the open high E. And then go back to second fret on the A with third fret on the B, and then third fret on the low E with the open B, and then kind of play in just the, the second fret open by themselves, and then you go third fret on the A string with the open D string and do the hammer on, and then open G by itself, and then third fret on the low E with with the open G. So you got three and O, two and three, three and open, two and three, three and open, two O. Three, open hammer on the two, open G, open G with the low E, three. <laughs> so anyway, that can be a really cool and, and kind of adventurous way to, to kind of start the tune. But this lick is kind of around some chords, and the way our verse starts is on a C major chord. And the way you play C major, first finger is going to go B string on the first, second finger is going to go D string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes a C major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the C major chord, we're going to be going to a G major chord. And when we play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second. Second finger is going to go low E on the third. And the third finger is going to go to the high E on the third. And if you strum all those together, that makes a G major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then from, from G major, we're going to be going back to the C major. And then we're going to play a D major chord. And when we play D major, first finger is going to go to the G on the second fret. Second finger on the high E on the second fret and the third finger on the B string on the third fret, and if you strum just the top four strings, just D, G, B, and E, that sounds a D major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the D major chord, we're gonna be going back to the G major chord. And then we kinda do another G. But then we go to C major, and then C major, G major, G major. But then we're gonna be going to an A minor chord, and the way you play A minor, First finger is going to go to the B on the first fret, second finger on the D on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the G on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes an A minor chord. It sounds really, really sad. And then from A minor, we're going to be going back to the C major chord. So that's kind of our verse, and actually it's all the chords that we need to play the song. But a lot of times with the song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding what I call a strum pattern to it. One of my favorite strum patterns is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we just took the C chord we're starting on and just tried that a lot. We'd have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So that could be like a cool way to kind of fill it through. And if we tried that through our verse, then we'd have the C with a down, down, up.
or basically taking those chords in that strum pattern and just kind of mixing them up. So if we tried that through our chorus part, then we have the G down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, D down, down, up, up, down, D down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, D down, down, up, up, down, D down, down, up, up, down, C 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 down, down, up, up, down, up. And then we kind of have our intro lick coming back where we got the three O, two, three, three open, two, three, three open, two O, three open hammer on, open G, low E three with low G. But the only other part of our song is kind of our bridge part. And on our bridge part, we actually start on the A minor. So we tried that with that strum pattern. We have the A minor down, up, down, A minor down, down, up. part which is really just your verse progression but one other weird thing is to play along with the song instead of starting on a C chord Uncle Cracker is actually starting on an E major chord so to do that what you want to do is take a capo and if you put your capo on the fourth fret then now your C chord is really an E major chord your G major is really a B major chord and your D is really an F sharp major chord and your A minor chord is really a C sharp minor so just to try that, you could still have your intro doing the open three, open three, O two O, three O two O O. But then you have that same uh, uh, strum pattern. So you have the C with the down, down, up, up down, C down. We got the G down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, D down, down, up, up, down, D down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, D down, down, up, up, down, D down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up. coming back where we got the O three O three O two O O two O O. But then well, eventually we get to our bridge part where we'd have the A minor down up, up down A minor down. So you may even want to want to use some percussion sounds for this where you do the, like kind of a G and then kind of tap on the guitar or stomp your foot or, or kind of make some noise. Or if you wanted to, you could even do like a blocking thing with that where you could do the G with the down. Be 
kind of a, a neat way to kind of cover that in the background. And then there are some guitar parts that kind of come in around that acapella part. The first one starts third fret on the A string, and then you do a hammer on from the open to second on the D, and then open G, and then if you play second fret on the G and kind of play that note, slide it to fourth fret, and then we're going to go back to second on the G, and then open G. So you may have like doing your G chord blocking, D chord blocking for the chorus, C chord. would be another way and then there's another lick that kind of turns up in that where you go first fret on the B string twice and then you go to second fret on the G string twice and then open G twice and then we go to the D string second and then another second and then open D and then third fret on the A. On the a. So we got one, 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 let's see, one, one, two, two, oh, oh, Same kind of thing going with the block here where you got the G, D, C, and he can throw in that lick instead. That. But anyway, that's a couple options for when you get to that. And then basically from there, our, our, our chorus is coming back in and our solo is kind of around our, our extended chorus part where, where you're doing the G, G, D, D, C, 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 C. But then another strum pattern that I like to use when I'm covering this song sometimes works off of something called a 16th note. And what a 16th note is, 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 is basically our down, down, up, up, down, up is working off an eighth note where we divide a foot tap into two parts. One, two, one, two, one, two. What a 16th note strum pattern it kind of works off of is the idea of dividing that beat into four parts. So you'd have like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite sixteenth note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. So if you took the C, what you're doing on the first beat is you're doing a down and counting four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But then on the second beat, you're doing a down on one, a down on three, and a an up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up. two and a down on three so you're going one two three four one up down one up down one up down one two three four one two three four and on the last beat you're doing down up down up right along with the one two three four so the one two three four down up down up down up down up down up down, 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 down. so all together you got a long down try to add to this and on your verse you'd be doing the whole strum pattern for the C and G but then when we get to the C and the D what I like to do is I'll do the first half of the strum pattern so I'll do the long down 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 up on the C and then do the same thing on the D down, 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 C with a down 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 D with a down 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 so we tried that through our verse and we have our C down basics of how you could play along with Drift Away or, or cover the tune. So, good luck! <laughs>